it's a wake for X, a brand new game show for CDBC. This is the only show on television where being quick to answer doesn't make you a winner. Here on the intergalactic time capsule, the longer you wait, the more points you'll get. We'll be testing the nerves of our contestants and seeing if they've got the skills to avoid our tank of goo. Ugh. Each question is 15 seconds long and we've got an infinite number of clues stored in our total intelligence mechanism, or as we affectionately like to call him, Tim. So with four rounds and some fantastic prizes up for grabs, let's get cracking and see who's playing today. <laughs> First contestant is George. Hello, George. Hello. You're very well dressed. Thank you. This is very a little tank tour. Yeah. Are you worried about knitwear in the goo portal? Oh no, no, no. No? No. You think you're gonna be able to avoid it? Yeah. Oh good. Yeah. Oh, okay. Lovely to meet you, George. Thank you. Our second contestant is Emily. Hello, Emily. Hello. Who are you most concerned about on the show today? Who's gonna who's gonna Jack. be your biggest competition? Jack. Jack. He's very, very smart. He's smart, is he? Very, very smart. So you're worried about him? Yes. All right, nice to meet you, Emily. Our third contestant is Luke. Hiya, Luke. Hey up. Hey up. <laughs> Good northern lad. You're actually a, a Navy cadet, aren't you? Yeah. Give us a salute. Perfect. That's brilliant, Luke. Is there anyone you're worried about on the team today? Well, mostly Jack. <gasps> Why, why Jack? Is he, is he Well, he's the brain box in the group. Yeah. All right, well, I think it's time we talk to Jack. Nice to meet you, though, Luke. Hello, Jack. Hello. The brain box of the group, that's uh, what he said. Allegedly. I don't know if that's true, though. Uh, they're worried about you. Who are you worried about? Well, in all honesty, I don't think I can really underestimate anybody. That's very true. Best of luck on the show. Let's get cracking. It's time for round number one. Each question's got a series of clues that's 15 seconds long. The question starts the same time the clock begins counting from zero to 15 seconds. You can buzz in at any time, but the longer you wait, the more points you'll get. So if you buzzed in at seven seconds, you get the question right, you bag yourself seven points. If you get it wrong, everyone else gets seven points. And you've each got three lives. Remember, you have to listen carefully to the clues, and when you think you know the answer, Wait for it. OK, guys. Round one. Question one. Listen closely. Let's hear it, Tim. I'm a race that was inspired by an event that happened in ancient Greece. The distance of the race is set at 26 miles and 385 yards. British runner Paula Radcliffe holds the women's... Oh, Jack. Marathon. Marathon. It's the right answer. Well played. Good waiting there. Back yourself 11 points. Good yeah. start, Jack. OK, our second question, please, Tim. I'm a male relative. I'm older than you. I'm often accused of embarrassing dancing and a dodgy taste in clothes. I'm a parent. My boys are my sons and my girls are my daughters. I'm... Luke. Is it Dad? Dad. It's the right answer. Well played. <laughs> 10 points to Luke. OK, question three, please, Tim. I'm something that can be found on many plants. I vary greatly. I look different in shape and size depending upon the plant. One type of me is on the flag of Canada. I fall off some types of trees during the... Luke. Is it flower? Flower is the wrong answer. Sorry, Luke. Everyone else gets 11 points now. The answer we were looking for was leaf. We're cracking on. This is question number four. Let's have it, Tim. I'm something you wear, though probably not all year round. I might be made of wool or cotton or silk or other materials. When... Emily. Jumper? It's a good guess, but it's the wrong answer. The answer we were looking for was scarf. Everyone else gets eight points. We're halfway through the round. This is question number five. I'm a man whose job it is to look after people when they visit my place of work. I listen to what they want and make sure it's what they get. I'm not a chef, but my job is to serve food and drink. If you like the service I give you, call it... Luke. A uh, waiter. It's the right answer. Well played. <laughs> 14 points to you, Luke. That's your last life used up. 
So you're frozen out of the rest of this round. Question six. Let's hear it, Tim. I'm something that some animals do. Cats and dogs don't do this, but tortoises and hedgehogs do. When an animal does this, its body temperature drops dramatically and it lives on its fat reserves. Jack. Hibernate. Hibernate. It's the right answer. Well played. Jack gets 11 points. OK, question seven. Let's have it, Tim. I'm the oldest and largest city in my country. In summer, you can visit Bondi Beach and go swimming or surfing, but be careful of the sharks. I'm especially famous for my harbour, my harbour bridge and my distinctive opera hat. Emily. Is it Sydney? Sydney is the right answer. Well done. 12 points to you, Emily. OK, this next question is question eight. I'm a word which has more than one meaning. If someone is very brave, you may say they have a lot of me, but I'm more commonly used to describe... Emily. Courage? Courage is a really good guess, but it's the wrong answer. The answer we were looking for was bottle. Bottle. Bottle, which is sort of, you know, you can say someone's got a lot of bottle okay. if they do have courage, but that was the one we were looking for. Eight points to everyone else there. Emily, that was your last life, so you're frozen out of the rest of the game as well. This is question number nine. Let's hear it, Tim. I'm something that is used to store data. You might use me if you want to watch a film, but you'll need a player to see it. I look like a CD, but I hold a lot more information. Oh, Jack, just in before George. What's the answer? Would it be a DVD? It would indeed. It's right. <laughs> Jack, you've got yourself 11 points, and that's your final life used up. So, George, there's one question left. This is a chance for you to pick up some points, OK? Yeah. Tim, let's play the clues. I'm a type of creature that can be found in most parts of the world. I can adapt to different climates because I'm cold-blooded. I have scales on my body instead of hair or feathers. People often think I'm slimy, but I'm not. Some examples of me include lizards, tortoises... Ooh, George, Snake. in at 14 seconds, what's the answer? Snake. It's the wrong answer, George. The answer we needed was reptile. I'm sorry, George. That means everybody else gets 14 points. So, team, that's the end of round number one. Who waited the longest? Who picked up the most points? Who is going to avoid the goo portal? There's only one way to find out. Players, please leave your play pods and enter the drop zone. <laughs> Tim's been keeping the scores. I can reveal the first person safe and definitely through to round number two is... Jack! <laughs> He's pleased. OK, the second person joining Jack in round number two is... Luke! Well done, Luke. Stay where you are. The naval salute. Luke's happy. OK, Emily, George. The person leaving us and about to enter the goo portal is... George! George, we're sorry to see you go. We're fighting to him, guys. Bye, George. Have a nice time. Oh! <laughs> the tanks off. <laughs> it was dry clean only. <laughs> Emily, you looked a little bit nervous out on the end there. OK, yeah. What was that like? I thought it was good to be me. Did you? I feel sorry for George. Oh, we looked like he was having a good time in there. <laughs> he did, actually. <laughs> OK, this is round number two. It's called Watch and Wait. Now, it's different from round number one, but we use the same scoring system. I'm going to give you a category, and you have to decide how many seconds worth of clue you think you'll need on that subject. If you stop the clock at eight seconds, you'll hear eight seconds worth of clue, and if you get it right, you'll bag yourself eight points. 
If you get it wrong, we'll continue to play the clues and give your opponents a chance to swipe those points. Okay, let's wait for it. All right, question one's category is sport. We're gonna play the clock first, so let's have it, Tim, please. Remember to watch one another as well as the clock. We want to pick up maximum points. Oh, Luke. Luke just buzzed in ahead of Jack there. You stopped the clock at 13 seconds, Luke, so we're going to play you 13 seconds of clue and then I'll ask you for your answer. OK? Let's have the clues, Tim. I'm something people do for fun, for fitness or as a sport. I'm an alternative to sinking. Front crawl, breaststroke, butterfly stroke and the back crawl are all ways of doing this. You do me in water, whether it's the sea. You don't have to buzz, Luke. What's your answer? Swimming. It's correct. Well played. You know the answer? Um, is it socks? Socks is an excellent guess, but it's wrong, Jack. OK, this is a chance to swipe some points. We're going to play the rest of the clues. Let's restart them, Tim, please. Jumping in puddles. Ooh, Emily, just Shoes. in first. Again? Shoes. Shoes. It's the wrong answer, Emily. It's the wrong answer. It was wellies or Wellington boots. Unfortunately, nobody gets those points. Oh. This is question three, and our category is nature. Tim, start the clock. Remember to keep an eye on one another as well as the clock. Oh, Emily in first at 10 seconds. Here come your clues, Emily. You often find me in garden ponds. I hatch out of frog spawn, but I'm not quite a frog. I have a short oval body, broad tail, and a small mouth. As I get up... Emily, what's your answer? Tadpole. Tadpole. It's right. Well played. <laughs> Emily's got ten points. OK, we're halfway through the round. The next question is question four. The category is people. Oh, Luke came in first. Seven seconds. Is it enough? Let's hear the clues. I'm a comic book hero who comes from Smallville. I was born on the planet Krypton that was destroyed moments after I escaped. When I'm not... Well, Luke. I read the comics, so it's got to be Superman. He thinks it's Superman. He's done the pause. He looks confident. And he should be confident. It's the right answer. <laughs> well done, Luke. You knew after, like, one second of clue. Superstar. All right. For the fifth question, the category is the natural world. <laughs> oh, Emily just beat Jack. Emily, you stopped the clock at nine seconds. Let's hear the clues. I am a type of grass. I have a long, slender stem and am the fastest-growing plant in the world. Giant pandas love to eat my shoots, stems and leaves. Bamboo. It's right. Well played, Emily. Nine points. Emily, that was your last life, so you're frozen out for this final question, OK? The category's history. Tim, start the clock. Oh, Luke. Three seconds of clue. You must be confident on history, Luke. <laughs> A bit. <laughs> well... Well, let's yeah. find out. Tim, let's hear the clues. I'm a title. People who held this title... It pays to wait, Luke. It really does. Do you want to have a stab at that? Um... Uh... Out of time, I'm afraid, Luke. <gasps> Sorry. Jack, mm -hmm. it's all down to you. OK. Brilliant. 
All right, let's restart the clues, Tim. Idol wore elaborate headdresses and false beards and were considered to be the children of a goddess. Famous people who have been described as me include Ramesses the Great and Tutankhamun. I'm the name given to the rulers of... In at 14 seconds, what's the answer, Jack? And um, would it be a uh, pharaoh? No. Oh. It's the right answer, Jack. Well done. <laughs> He's got himself 14 points at the end of that round. But is it enough? There's only one way to find out. Players, please leave your play pods and enter the drop zone. Tim's got the scores. And the first person safe and through to round number three is... Luke! Well done, Luke. OK, Luke is safe. Jack and Emily, unfortunately, we have to say goodbye to one of you. The person leaving us and about to take a dunk in the gunk is Jack! <laughs> Sorry, Jack. Could you take your specs off for me? Yeah. OK, you face forward. You've been a great player, Jack, but we have to say bye-bye. See you later. Bye, Jack. There he goes. Oh, the splasher. <laughs> Super. So that was another close call, Emily. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I thought Jack was going to go through and I'd get gunged. So what do you think went wrong? I just think that he didn't wait long enough to get the amount of points. He just buzzed when he thought he knew the answer. When he didn't. It pays to wait, right? Mm hmm Absolutely. You understand the game? Very good, Emily. OK, well, this is our head-to-head -head round, Emily. It's okay. round number three, wait and see. This one tests how well you know your opponent's strengths and weaknesses. I'm going to give you a question category and you have to decide when your opponent will come in with their answer. Now, you've got three time slot options. One to five seconds, six to ten seconds, and eleven to fifteen seconds. Of course, your opponent won't be able to see your prediction. And in this round, the seconds don't match the points. It's the best of five. If your prediction's correct and they answer correctly within your time slot, you get a point. If they answer correctly outside of that time slot, then they get the point. So you know the rules. You've seen the possible time slots. It's now time to wait and see who can make the right prediction. Now, the person who waited the longest over the first two rounds is Luke. So, Luke, you get to decide whether you want to predict first or answer first. I want to answer first. Answer first, OK. That means, Emily, you'll be predicting. Our question category is people. Now, Emily, before you make the prediction, let's just have a quick chat with Luke. People. How do you think you're going to do on this one, Luke? Um, well, I got the Superman comics. Yes. One, but people isn't just comics and things, so it could be something in government. I don't know anything like that. It could be anybody, couldn't it? Is that enough for you, Emily? He's not giving much away. Mm, Is yeah. he bluffing? I think so, yes. Well, are you ready to make a prediction? Yep. All right. Well, you press the button when you're ready. OK. There's Emily's prediction. We can all see that. Of course, Luke can't. Here come your clues. I'm sometimes also called a secret agent. I work on behalf of one country and try to find out secrets about another country. In books, Alex Ryder is a famous teenage one. Luke, in at 11 seconds, what's the answer? Stormbreaker. It's the wrong answer, Luke. Let's see the prediction. Oh, Emily thought you'd come in early. Between one and five seconds, you were in at 11 with a wrong answer. That means nobody gets a point. The answer we were looking for was spy. Not to worry. OK, nobody gets points in that first question. Question two, the category is things that move. Luke, you're going to be predicting before you press the button. Let's talk to Emily. Things that move, Emily, it could be... Well, it could be anything. I don't have any clue. <laughs> could be an animal. People, cars, I don't know. Could be anything, couldn't it? So, Luke, you've heard what Emily's got to say. When you're ready, 
please make your prediction. Okay. All right, Emily, here come your clues. It's things that move. Let's have them, Tim. I'm a type of vehicle. You need a helmet to ride me. I have two wheels, hand... <coughs> Emily. Motorbike. Motorbike is the correct answer. Let's see the prediction. Ooh, Luke thought you'd come in between 11 and 15 seconds. You were in at four seconds with the right answer. Emily, you get the point. Well done. <laughs> Good stuff. You did know a lot about things that moved, didn't you? Yep. <laughs> All right. On to question three. The category is places. Emily, it's your turn to predict. Let's just talk to Luke briefly. Luke, have you travelled to many places? Um, quite a few for skiing, but they're only, like, skiing places. Nothing like America or anything like that. Do you think he's bluffing, though? Is he telling he's the truth? He's not bluffing. Oh, you know, do you? Mm-hmm. OK, all right, well, bear that in mind, and whenever you're ready, make your prediction. OK, there's Emily's prediction. The category's places. Luke, here come your clues. I begin with the letter J. I'm the name given to a dense forest found in hot climates. Tropical rainforests are often described as me. The lion is often known as the king of this. In a famous book by Rudyard Kip... Luke. Jungle. Jungle is the right answer. Let's look at the prediction. Ooh, Emily thought you'd be in between one and five seconds. You came in at 12 seconds with a correct answer, which means you get the point, Luke. Well done. <laughs> so we're uh, one point each. It's still anybody's game. There are two more questions in this round. Category four is fictional characters. Now, Luke, you're going to be predicting. Let me just talk to Emily. Fictional characters, Emily, do you watch telly and yeah. see films and read a lot? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, don't, I, don't, I watch a lot of telly and I read a lot of books. Okay. Is she bluffing, Luke? Do you think yeah. she is? Oh. Bluffing. Yeah, bluffing. Whenever you're ready, make your prediction. Very good. OK, here are your clues, Emily. I'm a very special nanny. There has been a film about me and recently a stage musical. <coughs> Emily. Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins is the right answer. Let's yes. look at the prediction. <gasps> oh, Luke said you'd come in between six and ten. You're in at five seconds. So, Emily, you get the point. Well done. <laughs> We've only got one question left in this round. Luke, you need this point to stay in the game. The category's general knowledge, and it's Emily's turn to predict. How's your general knowledge, Luke? Um, rubbish. <laughs> rubbish? I, I heard that you were very good at school across a lot of different subjects. I could be, I could not be. Oh, I see. He doesn't want to give too much away. I, that's fair enough. Emily, whenever you're ready, you make the prediction. OK, there's Emily's prediction. Luke, here come your clues on general knowledge. Most rooms have four of me. Hadrian built a famous version and China has a great one too. I hold the ceiling up and I'm usually made with bricks or breeze blocks. I'm a famous street in New York. If you add a letter... Luke. Is it, um, crown something? It's what? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Luke, are you passing? Yeah. Oh, Luke's passing. Let's look at Emily's prediction. She thought you'd come in between one and five seconds. You came in at 12 <laughs> seconds. Nobody gets the point. So that is the end of that round. Emily, you are the winner with two points. Well done. <laughs> Luke, unfortunately, that means we have to say goodbye to you. <laughs> You've been great, but if you could leave your play pods and please enter the drop zone. <laughs> There's the salute. All right, Luke, we've got to say bye to you, mate. We'll see you soon.
Finally! Got rid of all of the boys. Yeah, rock on the girls. <laughs> rock on the girls. Well done. This is your final challenge. You're going to hear a series of questions. Mm -hmm. They're each ten seconds long. OK. You've got 60 seconds to give me six correct answers and make your way across the goo portal. Right. Watch how it's done. I'm going to go from one plinth to the next. <laughs> See? If I can do it, you can do it. OK. Now, if you make it over in 40 seconds or more, you'll be uh -huh. taking home one of today's star prizes. Best of luck. We're really rooting for you. Hope you do well. OK. Tim, let's begin. I'm a measurement of time. I'm made up of 24 hours. Usually okay. there are 300... That's right, move forward. I'm a very short word. I'm negative. I'm a word people use when they don't want to do something. I'm the first two letters in Norway. No. That's right, move forward. I'm another word for vital bits of your body. Your heart and lungs are types of these. Organs. I'm also the name of... Organs, that's right. I'm something many animals have. I'm important in helping them grab their food, especially if it's wriggling and trying to escape. Mouth. The one sub... Teeth. The wrong answer. I'm a kind of sporting activity. I'm something people often do to keep fit as I'm good exercise. People normally wear trainers to do this. I'm Morning. A... That's right, move forward. I'm a colour. You'll see me on a chessboard and clothes are often this colour too. Although they won't stay like that for long if you play in the mud. That's right, move forward. I'm a type of fungus. I'm often used in cookery. I have a stem and a cap. Mushroom. That's right. Yes! <laughs> Let's see what she's won. Oh, oh, a little bit closer. There it is. Let's see. It's a games console! <laughs> Deadly, everyone! <laughs> One of our star prizes! What a great player! Join us next time on Wait For It! I'm just on Wait For It! <laughs> I'm really glad I didn't get in the Grinch because I thought it's going to... I was going to... Oh, it's be horrible. Yeah. Yeah. Well done! Well done, Pete! Oh. Well done! You got full hell out of that. Up next is Animals at Work. Ready? Three, two, one, roar! Oh, you promised you'd roar with me. <laughs> Blasted. Catapulted. Inflated. Race it. Fire it. Love it. What should we do next? In my blast lab. Saturdays at 8:30. CBBC on BBC Two.